feels like. It's sniffing it. Does it look as if it's settling in, Steve? It's OK. It's coming out. Well done, Steve. Oh. It's looking at you, Steve. Betty's wondering if you're going to look after it all right. Well, I am. I look after it ain't all right, don't I? Thanks, I'll take it. Isn't it lonely, all on its own? <laughs> Glad of the rest, I should think. What are these? They're the drawings from our pets project. Guinea pigs eat a lot, and I mean a lot. Yes, they eat carrots, cucumbers, Apples, dandelion leaves, grass, and lettuce. You've done very well for your first week here, Tess. Thanks. Steve, your nan will be waiting. Better hurry. Is your day for going home with Steve, Sarah? All right, let's go. I'll carry the hutch. Come on, Snowy. You're off for a holiday. Lucky thing. <laughs> Elaine's really growing up fast, but she still sleeps in the afternoon. Oh, yes. Hello. I think I should have brought the pushchair anyway. How are we going to carry that hot home? Nan, Nan, we've got the guinea pig. Wicked. Hello, Mrs Barlow. Hello. Tess, your mum and Andrew will be back by tea time. Now, I hope you're feeling strong. <laughs> well, you may not be heavy, but your hutch is. Good luck with Snowy. Bye. Bye. Oh, is Snowy a... Is Snowy a boy or a girl? A girl? A boy? I don't think they know. Come on, let's go home and have some tea. Right. This cage is going to be a maximum security jail. I'm not having the guinea pig escape and eat Mum's flowers. Oh, don't worry, Sue. Just think of it as a cheap lawnmower. You just want to get out of cutting the grass. <laughs> oh, the kids are back. I'd better go and meet the new launcher. Hello, you lot. Hello. Ah, oh, hello. <laughs> it can't stay in here. We eat in here. It'll have to go outside. But me said he's got to keep warm at night. Well, what about all that straw? No, Miss said inside. Didn't you, Nan? Where's Nan? She's just gone out to the post office. Oh, can I stay in my room, Mum? A guinea pig's too messy, Steve. We'll use the greenhouse. There's a stove in there. It gets very cosy. But leave it here for a minute. We'll sort it out later. I'll get our tea now. But what about Snowy's tea? Oh, uh, baked beans on toast do it, OK? Mum, don't you know anything? I don't need a tin of cat food or toad in the hole for my tea. But green I can munch and carrots to crunch is the right kind of food for me. I don't need a tank to swim in. I don't want a nest in a tree. But hay in a hutch I'd like very much. That's the right kind of home for me. Please don't rub my fur the wrong way Just think and I'm sure you'll agree That hands that can stroke and don't pinch or poke Are the right kind of hands for me That's great, Tess. You just put that down here Then we can put it all together and it'll be ready by the time Sue gets back Why don't Snowy have a lovely run on the grass? What are you doing, Stevie? Eating dandelion leaves for snowy tea. Well, don't dig up Nan's flowers. No. Look. That's good. Stevie, can you get me some more staples, would you? What? Staples in the greenhouse. Rick 
Luckily. One, two, three, four, five. No, I've counted that one already. Four, it's just four. Well done, Snowy. What do we call them? I don't know. But I wish Mum and Nan were here to see them. I know. We could video the babies on tape and then they wouldn't miss anything. That's a good idea, son. Be back in a minute. How will we look after them? Give Snowy more food and water, I reckon. And now that she has us babies, we hope you'll remember that we need food to grow big and each guinea pig needs the right kind of food and the right kind of home and the right kind of space and the right kind of hands like me. I've got Nan's video camera. Oh, look at that little eyes. Can they see us? I think so. Can they smell us? You know something? They're not like hamster babies. They're tiny little grown-up guinea pigs already. Where did they come from? Well, Snowy must have had her babies inside her when you brought her home from school. I thought she looked fat. <laughs> Has she got a daddy? Yeah. Did she share a hutch at school? Class five's got a guinea pig. Snowy was in with her. Him. It must have been a him. Now, come on. Let's go and finish that run and leave them in peace. Luckily, I made the run on the large side. Can I come outside? Well, not for a week or so. And you mustn't touch them for a bit either. Just let Snowy look after them. What will she do? Well, she'll feed them herself. Or give her extra food and water so she can make lots of milk for them. That's what I said, didn't I? We'll make it really cosy in there. The snow will keep them warm too. Ah, we've done it. Right, now all we need are the wire cutters. Now, do you know where they are? Yep. I can't have got into the hutch. Count again, Steve. One, two, three, four... Uh, sorry, Dad. Hello? Where is everyone? Snow's had some babies. Oh! Have we got the cat had eaten one? It's been all go here. Well, I'll let Snowy have a quiet moment or two before I go and have a look. Now, is this the room? Seems knowing the babies won't be able to go in it for a while. Look, look! How about that? How did that get there? I don't know. Perhaps it was hiding from the cat. Do cats eat frogs? I expect so. When animals live in the wild, nobody feeds them. They eat what they can catch. But where did it come from? That frog has got a secret life. If it could talk, it could tell us a story about where it came from and what it's doing here. You've got a secret too. Yes, your letter. What letter? Oh, no one wants to go back to school to learn about science. Shh, 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 shh. Have you posted your thing yet? I'm thinking about it. You see, I've got to get a project ready to show them what I can do. I know, guinea pigs. Snowy must have had her babies inside her when you brought her home from school. That's the video Dad took. They'd just been born then. Yeah. Did she show her hutch at school? Now look at them. Amazing how they've grown in just one week. Now they're bigger, the hutch looks too small. Dad built a good one, didn't he? Your dad can build anything. A run, my den, whole houses. I know. Can they get out in the run now? Oh, yes. What do you think would be the safest way to carry them there? 
Well, we don't want them to escape and the cat to get them. Paper bag? No, that wouldn't be any good. They might wet themselves. Cat's basket would be no good either. All right, let's try and think of other ways. And I could write down all the ideas we have. Now, that would be a bit different for the people at the college. Could be part of my project. That's good, man. OK, will you write down all the ideas? Yes. Go on. Start thinking. <laughs>